It's official. I'm gonna go in and buy a new camera today. I just like, I'm so sick of like working five minutes to get it to focus on me. And then by the time I do get it to focus on me, my buttons all freeze up. Yesterday I showed you guys my shower curtain and how I accidentally stained it with makeup. It was time for a new shower curtain anyway. It's kind of, as I've been washing it, it's become a little yellow up around the corners and it just feels dingy to me. You can see there's a lot of like hard water on it, which is weird because we have soft water. I know you can throw these in the washing machine and they come out looking pretty clean. I'm not going to do that this time. I probably do that every other time. They're fairly cheap. What I did was I bought a new liner and then this is the shower curtain that we put over in the rent um the flip house and i thought it was so pretty and very inexpensive and so i bought two one for me one for them i don't know why it's done that i've washed it and that hasn't come out so either something has gotten on it or it's just very finicky material i did buy this from pottery barn and the reason that i bought an expensive shower curtain is because i loved the color right here and I loved that it went with my rug and the color of my walls but I just don't love it like the shower curtain is very finicky I have to steam it every time I wash it and I don't mind having to steam something when it's brand new and you first get it and you steam it like all the beddies that I buy for the kids you steam it once when you first get it and then you don't ever have to steam it again. This shower curtain that I put over in the flip house, I actually steamed the whole thing when you get it out and it looks incredible. For the price, I don't care if it lasts or not, but for the price that I paid for this, I don't like that I have to steam it every time. So anyway, you live, you learn. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take the shower curtains off and leave the hooks up here on the and try not to fall. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm just going to get rid of this. You can buy super, super cheap shower curtains, like the liner part. I don't think you need to spend a lot, but there are different weights. This one is a little heavier. I don't like the feel of this, like the really cheap ones that like, clean to me when I'm in the shower. So I get the ones that are just a little bit heavier. I'll put a link in the description for the one I'm using and for like a super cheap one if you just don't really care. to get these things to lay down nice and this is with it being a little heavier duty I just really like the ones that are a little thicker and heavier because they have a hard enough time laying down nice as is let alone like a super duper cheap one I hope you guys think this one is as cute as I did when I first saw it I just think it's adorable you'll get the gist in a minute Cute, right? Even though it isn't steamed yet and it's super wrinkly, I just think that is the roughliest, cutest shower curtain for such an inexpensive price and it isn't see-through at all. It's wonderful. Now I'm gonna steam it. I cannot tell you the last time I used an ironing board. I just don't ever use one. <laughs> um, I got a steamer a long time ago and that's like all I use for everything. I use a steamer for everything. I'm going to start in this like center row so you guys can see it the best. This is a tedious process, but hopefully you won't have to do it that often. Like I don't plan on washing this very often. I didn't have to wash my other one very often and it was white. So I think it'll be fine. The top three tiers have been steamed and then the rest of it isn't and you can just see it's not pretty i like it i was sitting here steaming and i completely forgot to tell you or i completely forgot about this this comes in like 30 different colors <laughs> so if you're smarter than me and you don't go with white <laughs> then 
that there's like a million other colors you can choose from. I'll put all the stuff that I've talked about, including like the steamer, in the description for you guys if anyone is interested. I am so happy with how that looks. So cute so fresh it like makes the bathroom smell fresh too like I can smell just like fresh linen so that's great looks cute I'm happy with it all right Best Buy <clears throat> here we come how many cameras have we bought dozens seriously I'm I'm scared to know how many cameras we've bought <laughs> how much do you want to wager that there's not one in there yeah my guess is that there isn't one in here uh, yep this is the one that <clears throat> my trainer has that she let me use. $2.99. I'll link you guys again the one in the description uh, in the description, the one that I have. <laughs> it's a fraction of the cost. Some things are definitely worth buying the name brand, the original, the expensive ones. But for that uh Theragun, I have a really good dupe that's just super good. Alright guys, guess what? She's in stock and she's only half the cost. But she used to be, because the new one came out. Joel, what's the difference between this one and the new one? The new one's actually worse. It's is a, it? It's, it was supposed to be faster everything, better clarity. And it just isn't? The speaker's not as good. There's a few other things that's just not as good, so we go back to the old one. This is the Mark III. This oh. is what we've always been recording on. Okay. So this is the one that Joel and I vlog with and that we've vlogged with for a really long time. I think it could be better in so many different ways, but... It, oh! People wouldn't break them and use them, you know. But it's the best one so far that we know of. Mm -hmm. Price point and for versatility, I like it. I will also link that in the description if any of you are needing a vlogging camera. Mr. Helene, you did a number in this garage. Wow, it looks so much more clean than it has. I am not going to show you the whole kitchen because I want it to be a re surprise reveal, but I really debated between using like the brighter gold and this kind of bronzier gold and I am not sad that I went with these. So super cute, so I will definitely link them for you if anyone is looking for new or updated hardware. It goes so good with all of the lighting that we've put in here. And yes, people, we are now taking our shoes off every time we enter. We wanna keep this place snazzy and clean and smelling good and not tracking in any dirt. We haven't even shown these guys down here very much because it has not been done. Joel has spent the last couple of days here and on his channel, you'll be able to see all the videos that he's recorded in here. He did the toilet, the sink, the shower is really good. I like it. That's not bad, huh? No, I like it a lot. We're waiting on the glass doors. Those are on their way. They got back ordered once we ordered them. Putting a mirror here. Oh, I like the black mirror. It was the biggest one they had. We had a request for a framed mirror, that's all I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. So we're putting a framed mirror down here. Hint. Hint. I used to think this was going to be such a crammed tiny bathroom. It's actually a lot better size now that everything's in it. It feels a lot better than I thought it was going to feel. It's bigger than our bathroom is in the basement of our house. Really? Oh, it totally is. Yeah, our bathroom in the basement of our house starts roughly right here. Wow, you know? that's funny. So, hmm. really big. All right, we're hanging the second mirror. These sit right here on the mirror and so the mirror has the option to bevel forward and backwards except it's too small <laughs> it's way too small for the area so we are going to do something different it makes me sad though because i measured it and i remember thinking oh that'll be great what i think i did was measure from the outside of the um all the hardware and i thought the mirror was that big I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to take that back and figure something else out. In the bathroom, in the place that I just showed you, we decided that we're going to do a plain 
mirror. It's really busy with uh, the lights and I decided that with the gold faucet in the other house, it was a lot of different gold. So like the gold here, the gold here, and the gold on the lights. And so I'm going to just do a plain mirror in between the biggest that I can. And as soon as I get them installed, I'll show you guys how it looks. We're starting our nightly routine. I'm going to get the quinoa out and I am going to make the same dish that I made a video on the other day because my kids loved it so much. The kids were kind of quiet in the video and they weren't like very responsive, but then I turned the camera off and they were like, dinner was amazing, that was so good, we want it again, and even Joel was like, no, that was good. I'm going to close the vlog here so I can finish getting my kids ready and I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not caught up with all of our new house projects, that we are wrapping up with. I'll leave a link for the playlist in the description for you guys if you're interested in catching up. Okay, see you in our next video. Bye guys. So everyone wants guac except Lincoln? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take extra guac. Okay. All right, I know that I was telling you guys about this earlier. Um, if you have not seen the video where I show you this recipe, I'll put it in the description. I put it up just the other day. Delish. I am so proud of this dish. Oh, it's Genuinely, it's so delicious. Good night, good night, good night, good night.